saying it's got it. It's possible because it already had it. I think it, they, it retains it for a certain amount of time. Come on, don't get too far away. We don't have the orientation turned on. I like the LEDs on there. That's cool. Well, that's probably why you don't. You can just ignore the uh, the props and look at the colors. Yeah. All right, let's turn the orientation on. See what happens. Let's see. I think that's this button. All right, turn it a little bit and see what she does. Now this guy definitely has room. This particular design will hold, handle the same motors that I have on my big one. Mm -hmm. And since it's a lighter frame, you got a lot more room. Um, I think it flies pretty well actually. Those small motors. Yeah, those are real dinky little motors. Yeah. Let's, I'm gonna, nice. all right, I'm gonna <laughs> up the gain a little bit and see what happens. All right, it's max. I don't know what gain I'm controlling. Any difference? Um, yeah, it's in spawn spin. Okay. Yeah, now, what a lot of guys do is before they even put the GPS, they they use two knobs, mm -hmm. and. And using those two knobs, you can you can do separate things. So you can really dial it in before you even think about putting the GPS. And you just sit there and hover it in front of you while you're trying to get your settings. Then you can change what uh, what channels you're using. Yeah, definitely. I think the hardest part, like you mentioned, is, is getting it in the air. Right. Once you're past that, you know, it's... Yeah, especially because... with the GPS uh, position hole. Because yeah. you, you, cause you have the ground effect, so the key is just to get it up. Yeah. A lot of people may panic and just take it way too high, and then pan yeah. you can get into a situation where you're going too high, and so you overcompensate and come down, and... And just like any RC thing, I think people, when they first climb, they overcorrect laterally too, you yeah. know, it starts going one way and they really overcorrect and it just gets worse and worse. Now here's a question is if you fly it and then just let loose, does it does it stop? Like not as that's the GPS. I think if the GPS wasn't on it would tend yeah. it would tend to So when I let loose, does it at that point does that consider the point where yeah. so it, will it try to come back to where I let loose? No. It'll come back to wherever it stops. Wherever you let loose. Or where I let where loose. you let loose. Yeah. I I'm, see what it does. It should come back a couple of feet, you know. Okay. I mean that and that's a thing to experiment with. I like it, Michael. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. I think what it does is it lets you concentrate more on the flying aspect yeah. and and less on having to worry about weird controls. And cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. And I think these these few designs, um, I just need I need more information about how it handles the battery. I've actually flown them all. Well, not so much this one, but the other two it was pretty windy when I had them out here. Rotate it around, see what the front looks like.
Is the orientation working? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say. For, for, for a second, I tried to do it the opposite way. I'm, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, are you, pretty, are you pretty good at... Yeah, I can do it backwards. Yeah, that's why I was trying to do it that way. You want to try flying it that way? Uh, no, it's all right. We'll just have a All right, we need to bring him in. So that was six minutes. You got six minutes flight. Pretty cool. 